the weekend of May 9th, 2025. I went on a road trip from southern Germany to Prague to visit the local maker fair for the very first time. I had no idea how much this weekend would change my life. The drive took about 5 hours and wasn't very exciting, so I made this nice little animation to keep you watching this boring part of the video. I mean, it wasn't that boring. I passed Pilsen, which is famous for its lager beer, and finally arrived in the beautiful city of Prague. Hello, happy printers! You won't guess where I just arrived. Yeah, you probably already guessed from the video title where we are. This place is somewhere in the north of Prague and honestly I was surprised there were no signs at all telling you what this place is actually about. So let's take a look inside. Hmm, I think I know this guy. Alright, no more teasing, we're inside the Prusa factory. Well, not the factory itself, but the visitor center. I imagined it would be bigger, but it's really just a small 10 square meter room near the entrance. They have some printers set up in a cool installation and a few others doing little giveaway prints. And of course, a full lineup of classic Prusa styles printers. Seeing those might make you a bit jealous that you never modded your printer properly back in the day. You know, before Bamboo came around and modding kind of stopped being a thing. I also tried to book a tour of the actual factory, actually a couple of weeks ahead, but it was already full. So I went for a little sneak peek to see what's going on with the Prusa Core 1 deliveries. Looks like they're really shipping a lot of printers. So if you got one on order, good news, it's probably on the way. They just didn't want me filming their backyard apparently. Anyway, the next morning was Saturday and I headed to the Maker Fair. It was pretty empty at first, but later it got really crowded. And yes, there was lots of Prusa everywhere. And more Prusa. And even more Prusa. Funny enough, this guy's last name is also Prusa, but they're not related. I also got to see the Prusa Pro automated print farm. Everyone who ordered one is still waiting nervously for delivery. Let's see when the first units go out to customers. From what I saw, it's seriously impressive. Automating your printer to that level is wild. But that's a topic for another video. Aside from the custom 3D printers at the booth, there were tons of other cool things at the Maker Fair, like this strange looking machine. There was also a big focus on electronics and robotics. Robots and AI experiments were everywhere. I stopped at so many booths just to check them out. Even some robots that looked like they came from another solar system showed up. And yeah, 3D scanners that can copy keys. Keys that technically shouldn't be copied, but they still work surprisingly well. Tons of amazing 3D printed props, monsters, and of course, warrants. Lots of warrants. Even the new one you'll probably never build because it's crazy expensive and weighs 800 kilos. This one was actually just a 50% scale model. The full version is so heavy they couldn't even bring it to the booth. Now, what about the YouTubers at Make a Fair Prague? There were a lot of them. Let's start with even Miranda and proper printing. These two got the most media attention because they announced something huge. Ivan would bring a fully 3D printed kayak. Proper printing, who designed it, would actually try to ride it in the lake next to the fair, live in front of everyone. So of course, we followed them to see what would happen. And yes, it floated. 
Let's see how long until he capsizes. But he was brave and gave it another try. This time, paddling hard to go further. But I still think this counts as a successful maiden voyage for a 3D printed kayak. By the way, this thing was printed in one piece on a massive belt printer built by even Miranda and Proper Printing. A few more people gave the kayak a try with similar results, I would say. And yes, that's one very interesting way to break a boat, actually. So it finally broke which also saved Joseph Prusha from having to ride it. He had promised to try it the next day, but I'm pretty sure he'll get his chance to capsize next year. Anyway, we also met a bunch of awesome people from the 3D printing community. Stefan from CNC Kitchen, Carlos 3D, Thomas Sanladera, who actually joined in the Voron Coex by Speedbelt thing. I, I forgot what that contest was called. Then there was Chris de Karlsdrucker, also from Germany. Honestly, I've, I've never seen so many German 3D printing YouTubers in one place. Mpox was there, Maggie and many others I probably forgot to mention. It was wild. At the end of the day, we spent a few more hours hanging out, sharing ideas and stories. And that's how the day ended, with a great piece of steak. So big thanks to everyone I met and made friends with, especially Marcel from Prusa who invited me to come, and of course, Thanks to Prusa for now sponsoring a few more videos on this channel with hardware and filament. But what I really learned from this trip is, people are the most important part of this community. So go out, start meeting others, and I'll be happy to do the same next time. Happy printing!